What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're diving into Modern Warfare Zombies, and today I'm bringing you guys the mission guide for the Act 3 story mission known as Defeat Zakaev. Now, very similar to the other story missions, once you guys actually infill, this will be represented by a star exfil location on your map, because we'll want to hover over it, make sure it does say Defeat Zakaev, and that is going to be the right location. And before you even bother heading over to this to exfil over to the new story mission, you guys are going to want to make sure you are extremely prepared for this one, as you will be doing a boss fight where you guys will be taking on the Aether Worm. So you guys are going to want to go ahead and get Pack-a-Punch level 3, Obviously, it depends on what weapon you guys could possibly get away with pack a punch level two. One thing I will recommend, especially if you're running solo, is to bring the experimental gas grenade, as you guys will actually find out when you go in why that's so good. But it's probably one of the best things you can use currently, unless for some reason they go ahead and nerf this in the future. But at the point I'm making this video, it's definitely something you guys are going to want to bring. This could even use a crossbow. Something really, really strong is definitely going to help you out, especially if you're solo. And then if you guys are running in a squad, the more people you have, the easier it's going to be. Also, if you're running solo, you're definitely going to want to be supplied with some extra self revives, as it will be crucial for this mission. Outside of that, just make sure you have all the perks that are required. The main ones are Juggernog, Speed Cola, Stamina, PhD Flopper, things like that. That way that you guys are prepared the best you can be, then you guys can head over to this exfil, call it in, wait the time period it takes for it to come in, jump into the back of that exfil helicopter, flying into your story mission. Now, part one is asking us to deploy to Zakaev's stronghold. So once you guys actually infill into the story mission itself and fly in, eventually you'll get to the point where it'll ask you to disembark from the helicopter. So now that you guys have jumped out of the back of the helicopter, you probably recognize this from the northern part of the map known as pop -Up. Now this is gonna be obviously a very limited space that you guys will be in in this story mission. And you guys will pretty much just head towards the large building in front of you as it's asking us to proceed to Zakaev's facility. Now on the way to this facility, you guys are gonna come across mercenaries, the tier two zombies, as all the zone is tier two. That is why you guys want to come in prepared as the issue not being so much the mercenaries, but more the zombies. None of the pack-a-punch or rarity stuff actually affects the mercenaries at all, but it does affect the zombies and how fast you'll be able to take them out. Now you guys are gonna continue defending yourselves against the zombies, the mercenaries, areas as you're moving forward towards the facility you guys are going to want to be cautious of the little shipping containers as they will pop open and a ton more zombies will come out of them you guys are just going to quickly clear those out until you make your way all the way to the facility location now this will be marked on your map with a star so you guys shouldn't get lost on the way to it once you guys make your way inside you're going to want to be cautious of the guys at the top as there will be some snipers around the top rafters there and you guys will want to clear this out of all the mercenaries within it where you guys are then going to locate the ethereum enrichment device once you guys actually make your way over to this device, you're going to plant an explosive on it. This is why it's kind of crucial you guys clear out all the enemies unless you have another teammate with you. Because then one of you guys can plant the bomb, the other one can defend. Otherwise, you guys are going to want to make sure you can't get shot at by any more mercenaries. Then you guys will go ahead and plant the explosives. Now, at this point, your objective is going to change and you're going to continue through the building coming out on the other side of it where it's going to let you know you're going to get to the neutralizer. Now, you're just going to continue going forward until you get to the star objective on your map so you guys shouldn't be able to get lost once again. Clearing out the mercenaries, any of the zombies you come across in your path it definitely helps to stay at the leftmost side of this as you guys can ignore a lot of the mercenaries this way or at least eliminate the fewest amount and you guys are going to want to be cautious of proximity mines as they can be kind of booby trapped around in the area too pretty much just eliminate anything and everything in your path continue to move and make your way to that neutralizer once you guys actually make your way within the area of the neutralizer a helicopter will fly in looking kind of like an exfil chopper where it will be dropping off a couple friends during this time period you guys are going to head over to the neutralizer where you'll then be able to power it up then shortly after powering the neutralizer an enemy chopper will fly in that it'll ask you to destroy. You guys will just continue firing at the chopper. You don't actually have to destroy it. And eventually the Aether Worm will pop out of the ground, grabbing the helicopter, destroying it for you. Then at this point, you've entered the boss fight. Now, depending on how many people you have with you, again, will determine how challenging this is. But you guys will be able to see some glowing parts on the Aether Worm. These are gonna be its crit spots. So at any point you guys are choosing to shoot at the Aether Worm, you're gonna wanna make sure you guys focus on these and you guys will see armor plate icons kind of popping up. So this will be where you guys are gonna wanna focus a majority of your damage. You guys will just continue shooting at it depending on which weapon you have and how pack a punch it is what rarity it is will obviously determine the damage output and how fast you'll be able to take it out now extremely easy way to take this guy down is to throw the gas grenades at it for some weird reason it does a substantial amount of damage to the aether worm so if you guys are going at this solo one of the best ways you guys can actually go about this is to just bring the experimental gas grenade as you guys will be able to throw them head over to the resupply grab a couple more throw them go to the next resupply grab more kind of just continue the process and fire at it whenever you have the in-between time now if you guys are in a squad you guys won't have too many issues you guys might just have to throw a few decoys kind of just distract the zombies for a time period as long as one of you guys is focused on damaging the crit spots the other one can kind of just run around distracting the zombies and sometimes even get the aggro of the worm giving the other person a little bit more opportunities to focus on those crit spots now when you guys are fighting this boss there's not a whole lot you're gonna have to look out for every once in a while it does shoot lasers at you that you will want to kind of dodge out of the way of and every once in a while it does kind of drop down and try to grab you which you're also going to want to be really cautious of because it will lead to you possibly going down honestly your biggest hurt 
hurdle of things you have to avoid is just going to be the zombies in general. As long as you guys are focusing those crit spots, maybe even bringing those gas grenades, you guys aren't going to have too many issues fighting the actual worm. But once you guys are able to dodge the zombies enough, eliminate enough zombies, and focus on those crit spots long enough, you guys will be able to move through the Aether Worm's health bar, eventually taking him out. Now you'll know for sure when you've been successful because the cutscene will initiate the second the worm is dead. But essentially once that happens, that does cleanse the exclusion zone, knocking out part two and completing this mission, wrapping up act three of the story. Now that's gonna wrap things up for today's quick mission guide. Thank you guys for all the support in today's video, all the support in the channel, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.